What's up guys? We're going to be doing rear brakes on a 2018 Pacifica. As you can see, I've already got it jacked up and the wheel off. First thing we're going to want to do, because this has an electronic e-brake, is we're going to want to hop in this bad boy. We're going to get it in the run position. Wait for the slow computer to start up. Accept. And then we're going to go to controls, settings, where's the volume? All right. And then we're going to go down, maybe. Brakes, brake service. Would you like to retract the parking brakes to allow service? Absolutely positively. I don't know if you could hear that, but that was pretty loud. Park brake retracted to reset. Press brake pedal and activate park brake switch. Okay. So, we're good to go. Now we're going to shut the car off. Yeah, that was actually pretty loud, those parking brakes retracting. So now... We can get right into it. So we're gonna start with this. I already pulled these out, but these are just little plugs. They go right here, just like that. All they do is prevent dust from getting in. And what you're gonna need is a seven millimeter hex or Allen wrench to break those free. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna come back to you. Okay, now that I got those broken free and loose, you can see they're loosened up. A lot of times they won't come out just enough to get them free, so you just take a screwdriver, push them back, do it to both of them, get them free. All right, and then this caliper will never come free without getting this clip off. So, be careful when you're doing this because these clips can just go wherever they want. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with one hand. Nope, I'm going to have to pause it. Alright, so that was one of the hardest clips I've ever had to get off of rear brakes. Once you get it off, I actually found that it was easier to pry up from the bottom to get it out. Then it should just pull off. Just like so. And then... Get your parts out. Your old brake pads off. And then we got some bolts right back here. Right there and right there. I'm going to figure out what size they are and let you guys know. So these are an 18, 18 millimeter. So we're going to go ahead and break these free. That one broke free super easy. That one broke free pretty easy. Not super easy, but pretty easy. I'm going to take these bracket bolts out. Don't let the bracket fall down, hit you in the shin or the ankle or anything. I've done that a bunch of times. Got them out. Brackets off. Hopefully the rotor is free, which it's not. 
So we'll just have to hit it with a hammer, hopefully, just a couple times. And just like that, it broke free. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do before we even put our rotor on, we're gonna clean this up. All we're gonna do is right here where the pads sit, all these spots, you can either take a, a, a grinding disc or just a wire brush, clean up all that rust, get as clean as you can so the brake pads can move freely. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll be back with you guys. All right, so I got a brake caliper all cleaned up. I just used a wire brush because this has low miles. There's not much rust on it. Now we're going to take our new rotor. And we're going to spray with brake clean and clean it off. Now that our brake rotor is all nice and clean, we're going to go ahead and reinstall this bracket with our two 18 millimeter bolts. All right, so next we got to twist this caliper in the piston. So this is the kind that you have to twist in. So you need a disc brake caliper kit like this. So find the right fittings to go into the piston and then twist the caliper back in. And then we'll start reinstalling everything. Okay, once you have your piston pushed in, you want to get your new brake pads. So you got one with the spring, another one with the spring, one with no spring. Pretty sure the one with no spring goes on the outside, the one with the spring up top goes on the inside. All right. Take our caliper, flip it right back over, and apparently our new brake pads did not come with new clips, so I have to reuse these old clips, so that's awesome. But before we do that, we got to pull these pins out and grease them. That's one of your pins. That's the top one. And that's the lower one. So you're just going to put a little bit of grease on those. And then put them back in. Alright, once you get those pins greased, I got them in. We're going to simply take our Allen wrench. And we're going to try and get them started, which is very hard when I'm holding the camera. But I think I got it. I think I got it. Nope, I didn't get it. But anyway, once you have your slides greased and you put them back in, you're gonna wanna feed them into the bracket and tighten them down nice and tight. So that's what I'm gonna do next. All right, now that I got these snug down, this is something I like to do because I do not like the style of caliper with these hex pins. I like to just keep that in there. Take my hammer and give it a couple taps. Make sure it's nice and tight. But that's why I don't like them. You use this tiny Allen wrench and I never feel like I can get them tight enough by hand. Got those in there. So now we're gonna take our little plugs, stick them back over on both of them. And then the only thing we have left to do is take my clip that I have to reuse, unfortunately, and reinstall it into here. Which mine, watch, I bet I can do it with one hand. Yep, I was able to do it with one hand because my pads did not come with new clips. If your pads come with new clips, it is not gonna be that easy, I promise you that. It can be a big pain, but actually that big pain I'd be happier with rather than 
reuse the old clip. But that's all there is to it. And then you just go back into the computer inside, reactivate your electronic parking brake because that's such a great idea. Reactivate that and then you're good to go. Make sure you torque your lug nuts, pump your brake pedal before you try and drive it. Thanks guys, if you like my stuff, please like and subscribe.